رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي واجعل لي وزيرا من اهلي السلام عليكم. Uh, in this video I'm going to share with you a reflection from the Quran from Surah Al Nahl perhaps alluding to the modern day transport, uh, the modern cars, the modern aeroplanes and trains and perhaps even the future transport that we have not yet experienced. So of course the Quran, uh, the, the miracle of the book is that the meanings are always updated. So subhanAllah, whatever stands as standard meanings or what was understood before, now in the modern science we are seeing more and more meanings come into the light. It doesn't mean that the previous meanings are nullified, but rather each meaning in its context remains correct. So. It, it, it may remain correct because for example sometimes uh, we may find new information and it's, it's up to us uh, it's, it's up to us the word Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the, the words he use he uses uh, we take them from the original uh, the Arabic Quran but now we apply it today so the, the the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to present verses and I'm not I'm not saying they directly apply to modern cars or airplanes but at least they seem to point at it so for so what I'm going to do is for example uh, I'm going to start off with uh, I'm going to show you the verses that actually show the uh, that allude to the modern transport so, so uh, verses uh, Surah Al-Nahl verses 8 onwards A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Al-Rajim Wal-Khayla Wal-Migala Wal-Hamira Litarqabuha Wazinah Wayakhluqu Ma La Ta'lamun وعلى الله قصد السبيل ومنها جائر ولو شاء لهداكم أجمعين The translation of which is uh, He also created horses, mules and donkeys for your transportation and adornment and he creates what you do not know It is upon Allah alone to clearly show the straight way other ways are deviant Had he willed he would have easily imposed guidance upon all of you. Now, let's look at what points, of course, the meanings of what the previous uh, 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 tafasir and the explanations the Quran gave, those are separate. What I'm trying to do is see how the modern meanings may, it may allude to the modern transportation. So let's, let's see. He also created horses, mules, and donkeys for your transportation and adornment. Now, these two, purposes of these animals now notice that the modern transportation also has the, uh, has these two purposes uh, either they are beautiful cars beautiful trains luxurious cars for luxury as an adornment or as just for transportation something may not be very luxurious or comfortable but we need to get from point a to point b so we use it as a transport now why am po why does allah specifically point out at this location in the quran these two purposes and not any other purpose now notice in other places in the Quran, for example in Surah Al-Yaseen, verse 71 on, onwards, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala men mentions not only these two purposes but some other as well. For example in verse 71 of Surah Al-Yaseen, I'll put the translation, do, uh, do they not see that we single-handedly created for them among other things cattle which are under their control? Uh, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, continues, uh, and we have subjected these animals to them so they may ride some and eat others and they derive from them other benefits and drinks will they not then give thanks so the purposes given here are drinks benefits uh, for eating and for riding likewise let's go to surah al-ghafir allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-ghafir verse 80 onwards uh, uh, verse 79 onwards it is Allah who made cattle for you so that you may ride some and eat others also you find in them other benefits and by means of them you may reach destinations you desire and you are carried upon some of them and upon ships so again here the purpose is given out for riding for eating and other benefits and you can get to your destinations but here in specifically Surah al Nahl verse 8 the two purposes given are for transportation and adornment so this, these are the two purposes today of transportation today of cars, airplanes and what not, trains. Either they are luxurious for adornment and a luxurious uh, travel or they are only for transportation. They are not used for eating or uh, driving our food from them or drinks for them or, or any other purpose. So that's one of the clues and the hints towards modern transportation. And let's go ahead. 
والخيل والبغال والحمير لتركبوها وزينة ويخلق ما لا تعلمون and he creates what you do not know now this is in Arabic the present and the future are captured in the single tense which is known, known as mudariah so here he says يخلق meaning he creates or he will create so it can be in the future as well so also pointing to the to, to the future the more modes of transportation will come in the future and by using the present tense and then uh, in verse 9 he says it is upon Allah alone to clearly show the straight way and now other ways are deviant now here is a bit of a tricky translation because of course one can say it is upon Allah to show us the right path to live the life and uh, other ways are deviant however if you look at the Arabic وعلى الله قصد السبيل is upon Allah to show the right way uh, previously the animals for example if you apply it on animals uh, they are active they could see for example uh, uh, the rider for example he was sitting upon them uh, he had all the for example the, uh, the ways of controlling the animal the reins and the, the animal itself moved and uh, it, it, it went through the path the way the rider wanted, to, wanted it to go uh, but today uh, it is upon Allah to show the way even today the transportation for example that we have developed we have so many uh, for example radar systems or GPS systems or uh, for showing us the ways or the sensors the motion sensors the uh, all kinds of sensors and then uh, it is upon Allah to show the way and others are deviant uh, others that go out of the way, out of the path. So one of the beautiful uh, translations that I heard was, uh, if you take an aeroplane for example, if this is the round earth, the aeroplane, if it went into, uh, sp uh, into the atmosphere and it started flying without changing its path and getting out of the straight way, it would keep going into the space. The fact that the aeroplane has to keep uh, in within the earth's uh, atmosphere, it needs keeps bending, it, need, it, keep, it needs to keep on uh, deviating as such you know keep on t uh, bending its path so this is one of the uh, pointing towards modern trans transportation as well so of course all these uh, uh, signs like uh, we created them uh, we created uh, he created the horses mules donkeys for transportation and adornment which are for modern transportation and he creates then that or will, will create in the future pointing towards modern transportation as well as Allah qastu sabil is upon Allah to show the way the modern sensors and the radar system GPS systems and wamin hajair and some ways keep uh, bending as well you can say so it, these are pointing I'm not saying the, it's necessarily the correct uh, interpretation but it there's a slightly um, there's a slight uh, hint towards because the word of Allah is not in these are ayat verses they point towards something they don't actually uh, for example we can't see Allah but it points towards Allah so it's it's actually giving us a hint that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has predicted the future very correctly and subhanallah today we can see the transportation like this and subhanallah what uh, what an amazing prediction if it if, if it is as such so with that we'll end the session subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shadu la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi